Yeah, he sets my body in motion He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be an all day extreme clean with me. There is so much that needs to be done in this house. Bedrooms, bathroom, laundry room, everything, you name it, it probably needs to be clean. So please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy these kinds of videos. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and let's go ahead and get cleaning. Looking at us. We are starting today's cleaning video by making a cup of coffee, or rather, I think I made three cups of coffee here. I just feel like I am so much more motivated when I have had a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, and this is truly an all-day clean with me. I started at about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, and it did not end until around 4 o'clock right before we made dinner, so this is definitely going to be a ton of cleaning motivation for you. This is my favorite coffee creamer. It is the Coffee Mate Natural Bliss Coffee Creamer. It is made with real cream cream and I just use a milk frother to froth it up a little bit and it makes the perfect at home latte. If you guys don't have a milk frother, you really should consider getting one. It just really amps up your coffee. I'm starting out by wiping off my kitchen table with the Method Wood for Good Cleaner, and then I'm gonna stack the chairs on top of my table. If you guys have not watched one of my cleaning videos before, I do have a robot vacuum and I find that he does so much better cleaning when I have put the chairs on top of the table and I'm giving the chairs a good wipe down too because I feel like I neglect those sometimes and they have like crumbs and dust on them. But I do want to mention, because I want to know how many of you guys do this too, my robot vacuum has a name. We are big Dallas Cowboy fans. I grew up in Texas and so I named my robot vacuum Tony Robo, like Tony Romo. So I want to know how many of you have a robot vacuum and if you do do you name your robot vacuum yeah he's got a bad history but i want him anyway so look at me i'm in a bad situation look at him he's got a bad reputation but what about it I am just throwing a few of the household rugs in the washing machine just to give them a quick clean. And I wanted to show you guys this product that I love using. It is the Clorox 2. It is a stain remover for colors. Works really well on high traffic things or clothes that have a lot of stains but are colored. And then I'm gonna let my robot vacuum do some work in this laundry room because it is a mud room. We constantly walk in and out of it and there was a ton of dirt on the ground. And then I'm going to strip my bed sheets because I had done some self tanning a few days ago and anytime I use self tanner and then sleep in my bed, I always get some residue from my self tanner on the sheets and I wanna make sure I wash it off as soon as possible. sure that I also threw the mattress pad in the washing machine. I don't wash this every single time I do my bed sheets, but because I use self tanner, I wanted to make sure that nothing got on this as well. And then we're moving on to taking care of my plants. It had been a little while since I pruned them and gave them a little bit of water, so I made sure to do that today. Like a song, like a perfect melody. Baby don't to pick up the kitchen a little bit, load the dishwasher, and just kind of tidy up things here around the sink. And then we are heading into the bathroom to do some serious decluttering and cleaning and organizing. <laughs> This caddy here in my bathroom I always have on the back of the toilet with just a few of the products that I like to grab on a daily basis. At this point, it had just gotten full of way too much stuff. I don't even use half of this stuff on a daily basis, so it really needed to be cleaned out. But I also can't remember the last time I washed this thing or wiped it out, so we are going to make sure that that is fully disinfected before I put everything back in. There's nothing missing now that you might desire. Now all I have to do is to make it mine. 
As I am loading this caddy, I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in a video on some of my favorite beauty products or things that I like to use on an everyday basis. I did include a few of them in my last video, which is my night routine. So if you guys would like a video on beauty products or something like that, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to make one. And at this point in the video, I am unloading some of the groceries Jack had just brought from the grocery store. I immediately throw away the plastic bags just because you cannot be too careful. And then I wipe all these things down before I put them into the fridge. But as soon as I opened the refrigerator and the freezer to put some of this stuff away, I noticed that the refrigerator was pretty gross, kind of messy, and so I decided that I was going to tackle that. So we are going to do that in this video. Hopefully this gives you some motivation to clean out your fridge too because mine was a mess. felt so good to get all of those things out of the fridge so I had a blank slate to work with and I'm using the method anti back spray here just to wipe everything down after you spray an anti back spray you definitely want to make sure that you let it sit for at least 10 minutes to fully disinfect whatever surface you've sprayed it on before you go and wipe it down so that's what I'm doing here as I empty these really gross containers that had all of my condiments letting that anti back spray sit for a little while before I go ahead and wipe these shelves down let me when I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. Actually had to pull out the drawers to make sure that I got everything clean especially on the bottom of the fridge and then I'm moving on to the condiment containers making sure that those are all cleaned out those were so gross and then I'm just going to start putting everything back in in some kind of orderly fashion just so we know where everything is you don't have to. there's so much that I'm still keeping to myself because you don't listen babe. but still you got me missing you when I see you my heart starts racing but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. I have this new goal while we are in this season of quarantine to really try and not waste any food. For a while there, I was not doing a great job of eating everything in the fridge. There would be like a tiny little bit of something left and it would just end up going in the trash. And so myself and Jack have made a commitment to really try and make sure that we finish absolutely everything in the fridge and that we don't overbuy things so that we are not wasting. Let me know in the comments what strategies you have to make sure that doesn't happen. I don't know if it's harder for us because most of the time it is just either myself or the two of us that are eating. We're not cooking for a whole family, but if you have some suggestions to help help make less waste then definitely let me know in the comments turning over the laundry and then we are going to head back into the bathroom to do a little bit more decluttering underneath my bathroom sink. That is another spot in the house that has been neglected for a very long time. You tell yourself you need to move on, but when not in the shadows can ease your broken heart. the 
this is Meyer's multi-surface spray here to wipe down the inside of the cabinet. And then I am going to stick things back in after purging a few items. I don't have a ton of space underneath this bathroom sink because it's the only bathroom right now that I am really using in the house until I can finish these renovations. And so this is the best that I could come up with. Not too bad, everything is at least in its own spot and I know where everything is. Going to finish cleaning the rest of the bathroom and I wanted to note that I never filmed myself cleaning my bathtub and I don't want you guys to think that I never clean my bathtub I just usually tend to clean it right before I'm about to get in the bathtub and take a bath and that's just not a time that I'm normally filming so I never really film it but if you guys want me to film cleaning my bathtub or my shower then just let me know in the comments and then you Love these little trays here that I use on my kitchen sink and my bathroom sink. Both of these are from the Grove Collaborative and this one with the flowers on it is part of their spring collection. If you guys are interested in trying out Grove Collaborative, just know that my referral code is always in my description box. the Barkeeper Soft Cleanser here to clean out my stainless steel sink and then we are going to head back in the bathroom to finish up cleaning in there. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go Cause every time I try you find a loophole I've been slamming the door and just leave you ready to decorate for summer yet in the bathroom or really anywhere in my house. I just haven't been able to get any new pieces and I don't really have a ton of summer decor as it is. So I'm leaving a few of the spring things in here for now. And same thing here in my living room. I don't really have anything to put for summer here and I could really use some ideas. So if you guys have ideas for how to decorate this console table or should I get rid of the table and do something else in this area, let me know in the comments what you think I should do because right now I'm in a weird in between and I'm really unsure.
straightening up a few things in the living room. This room wasn't really too bad. I'm just folding up some of the blankets and putting away some of the remote controls and things like that. But then we are going to head upstairs next and put away some of those Easter and spring decorations that I really just kind of want to get out of the way. I don't mind leaving some spring things up, but a lot of the bunnies and Easter eggs and things like that I wanted to take down so that that way I could kind of have a fresh clean slate to start thinking about how I want to start decorating for summer. Again, if you have any ideas for how I could decorate my space for summer, colors that you think would look good, different styles, then definitely let me know your suggestions and definitely include links in the comments. walk-in closet in my office is where I keep all of my home decor. I have different bins for different seasons and usually when I pack things up I wrap them in bubble wrap or tissue paper or newspaper or whatever I have on hand. I have a ton of tissue paper and things like that from gifts so I'm just using that to wrap up some of my items. such a tight space in here to get my camera, but I made it work. And yes, I also do use this closet to store some of my clothes as well. So I'm just sticking all those things that I wrapped up really tightly into this container, which thankfully is partially empty, which means there is always room to add things to it later. Here is a quick overview of kind of how I have this room organized currently. I have this shelf here on the left side that holds all of those storage bins. And then I have a little bit of room on the right side to stack a few more as well. I also should note that I do have an attic, but I don't love to store things in the attic since it's not temperature controlled, but I will use that if I have to at some point. And now I'm moving on to straightening up the rest of my office. This is where I am currently doing my voiceover. I do all of my work here at my desk. I have a filing cabinet and all their kinds of storage systems here that really needed to be wiped down. I don't even know the last time I wiped surfaces down in here, so this was a must. that my desk ends up being like a dumping ground for all of the things that I just don't want to deal with at the time. So it definitely pays to take a few minutes just to go through and make sure that you've thrown away stuff that you don't need or put things in their correct spot because this room looked infinitely better once I had actually taken the time to do that. I really should do it more often. You out of your comfort zone Cause I need more of the truth right now It's time that you made your mind up Cause lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight like no other
are listening and cleaning along with me, I am moving on to vacuuming. I think that this room also had not been vacuumed in a really long time. I just have been doing so much work in here that I don't even really think about vacuuming the space, but I love a good satisfying carpet line. All my sheets are freshly clean. I'm going to remake my bed and then we are going to move on to giving this room a good vacuum too. for me to vacuum these little rugs in my house is just to stick them on top of some other carpet that I have in the house and then vacuum over them. I find that vacuuming small rugs like this on top of hard floor is really challenging and this vacuum actually scratches my hard floor so I can't really use it on it, which thankfully I have the robot vacuum for. The next thing that I'm doing is mopping my floors using this Mrs. Meyers multi-surface concentrate in the honeysuckle scent. I just added it to the bucket with some hot water and then I'm going to mop the floors. I will have this mop linked in the description box because it is honestly the best mop I have ever used. The handle of the mop is collapsible so it's really easy to store and it's the perfect mop if you don't want to get your floors too wet because the mop head is actually microfiber. So if you have hardwood floors or laminate floors and you don't want to use a steam mop, then this is a great alternative. Tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong, it was way more than a dream. We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside, so right, we stood there all wide-eyed, you and I floated on air in my mind. Cause there's no going back, no going back, there's no going back. 
to your own life your own Living in the past, life. we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I was able to give you tons of cleaning motivation to get some things done in your home. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I would love to have you, and I will see you guys again really soon in a brand new video. Bye, guys.